Now, you must understand that I'm trying to run a service here, Cherry. I've already lost one member of staff. Now another one wants to leave without even the courtesy of a reasonable explanation. Now I owe it to the partners to be professional. It's simply not good business you practice. You and your blooming business. I don't even want to stay here the way this place is going. Yes, Mrs. Tembury. Ah, uh, uh, yes, my friend has got back to me. Now, she, she says it is possible, but we will have to send someone to pick it all up. And now, I cannot go because... Well, I'm... can you just put it in a cab and we'll pay for it? Oh, yes, oh, of course. <laughs> I was not thinking. Now, you're clearly very distressed. Why don't you just talk to me about it? I may be able to help. So now you missed a touchy-feely all of a sudden. <sighs> Well, I'm very sorry you feel that way, and I'm very sorry that I was short with you this morning. There's a lot of pressure on me today. I am genuinely concerned, but more than anything, I don't want you to make a decision that you may later regret. Now, is it really so urgent? Is somebody upsetting you? Not now, Mrs. Tembe. I just wanted to say that I have organised a taxi, so... Good. I don't want to go. I have to. Because everything between me and Jimmy is falling apart. It was never right, it wasn't right from the start. <laughs> no. He'd been trying for a baby and I just kind of blanked it out and then haven't stopped taking the pill, which is a huge betrayal of course because he's wanted to have a baby so much. And then I keep on thinking about how we always said that it was wrong to try and have a baby to save a marriage, especially after what I've done. I slept with Daniel. And I'm so ashamed. We were drunk. And it was in the camp of surgery. That is an excuse. He was so sad. And so was I, I suppose. And I know that it's a cliche, but it really didn't mean anything. Not that that matters. And I couldn't stop lying anymore, so I ended up telling Zara. So that's two relationships ruined? Because of me? Well, um... I had no idea. You have my absolute discretion. Stop! Just stop! You are being broadcast live. The, the, the intercom is on all over the surgery. Please do not make any more revelations. I'm really sorry. I uh, must have... I don't think we were ever right for each other. I just wish that I could have been braver and faced up to it before all of this mess. <sighs> I'm such an idiot. Oh, no, you're not. You're just human. I really didn't want to hurt anybody. Oh, I know. Oh, it's, it's, there's no point pretending, because life's too short. If you weren't happy, Jimmy can't have been either, can he? Thank you, Karen. I'm going to miss you so oh, much. Don't. Oh, don't. I'm going to miss you too. <laughs> You've been such a wonderful friend to me. Will you promise me that you can stay in touch? I will, I promise. Just please, just do me a favour. Will you please look after Jimmy for a moment? Oh, yeah. I'm going to go now. Is um, Mrs. Demby's going to self-combust so. now. Hey, 
Yay, yay, yay. We'll have none of that, Miss Malone. So did everyone hear the patients as well? Pray so. Hey, you are doing the right thing. All you need to do now is keep strong, yeah? I know it seems like, oh, the end of the world, but you'll move on and, oh, you will feel so much better. Will I? Mm-hmm. Back to your old self again soon. It does feel like a massive weight has been lifted. All those lies. <sighs> Just trying to convince myself that I was Mrs. Happy. <laughs> didn't fool you though, did I? Oh, actions speak louder. Thank you for being so direct. Oh, not that bad was that? You were a good, honest, critical friend. The best kind. Are you ready? Yeah. Come on. I wish you all the very best for the future. Thank you, Mrs. Danby. You too. Are you sure? You know, maybe you could stay and just work at the campus. I don't think so. Good luck. Thank you. Sorry, it's been so short. Yeah, but it's been very, very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Darling. Yeah. Oh. yeah, it has, hasn't it? Be the same without it. No, we won't. <laughs> <coughs> You're not sneaking off without saying goodbye, are you? I'm sorry, I just thought. We don't. We miss you. I suppose with nursing you can go anywhere, South America, Australia. Actually, I was thinking of contacting Simon. Dr. Bond? Yeah, he's working in New Zealand. Oh, he'd like that, yes, you should. Do you think so? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I've watched you blossom. The bubble-headed Princess Pinky was never really you. Is I that bad? No, no, you're lovely. You're, you're intelligent, you have masses to offer, but... There's more to life than nine to five and being Mrs. Wright, the right person will come along at the right time. But until then, enjoy yourself. Yeah, you're right. Anything's possible. Thank you, Hester. <laughs> Mr. Mackey, just send my next patient in, please.